Hello, welcome to another episode of Inspiring Youth. I'm your host, Bruce Outridge, and this is the show where we showcase ambitious youth and the uh, community partners that work with them. And you know, Halton has a lot of great places in there. We have places like Halton and uh, Hayek and, and, and some large uh, places that really help youth, but there's the smaller ones, the ones that you may not know about that we are trying to find this year, and we found one called The Odd Spot. The Odd Spot is a small little record shop based in Burlington, Ontario, and it is a place that has a gem of items for anybody that's a collector, but it's also a hub and engine for the local music community. And we're gonna find out tonight what it's like to start uh, a place like um, The Odd Spot, who works there, how it benefits the community, and where you can find it. We're gonna start off with a little talk with Rich Marconi. Rich is the manager for The Odd Spot, and I came across Rich when we were uh, at Sound of Music Festival this year, found out what he was doing, and thought his place was just an amazing place. So let's have a, a chat with Rich and find out how he got started and how he gets youth involved in the odd spot. So how many, how many young people would you use throughout a year, let's say, you know, you, with your various festivals and maybe working in the shop, how many people would you be looking at or looking for? Uh, well, it all depends on the project. And there are certain marketing projects at different times of the years that we use. We have uh, curated outfits here. So we take our clothing and we'll match, you know, a hat uh, with a jacket and a shirt. And then we'll go downtown Burlington and we'll take some photos in front of like a really cool landmark or another business down here. Uh, just because we like to stay local and we like to support our local businesses as well. And we'll just take a photo of somebody, whether, you know, it's a, a just a high school guy or, or a girl from college, whatever it may be. Uh, and we'll just take their photo in the curated outfit. And it's kind of like, you know, this is what you could look like if you shopped here. Not necessarily selling the Metallica shirt they're wearing or the denim jacket that's on. We just want to kind of let them know that you can be part of the community, you can be part of the city, and just kind of show off that like, you know, oh, okay, well, we can come here and we can get really cool combinations for our outfits and all these clothing styles, like kids are coming in, they're buying band shirts of bands they've never even heard of sometimes. Like I've seen like a Pink Floyd shirt going to a, you know, a 14 or 15 year old girl and I'll be like, oh, Pink Floyd, right on. She's like, yeah, I just like the logo and you're yeah. just kind of like, Okay, cool. Now this is fashion. So now, now we're going into the fashion sense. So we get a lot of kids to help us out with all sorts of different projects. So, so yeah. you, you heard in that interview that Rich is uh, passionate about helping young people get started. But he has started himself by actually selling his wares to the odd spot. That's how he got the job. And we found out exactly why he's so passionate about uh, local music in this interview. $75. I went to a concert bought a t-shirt and I'm sure some of you guys do the same thing too. So these were all shirts that you know I outgrew, I, I never wore anymore and I came to uh, Craig the owner of Odd Spot with an idea of a box of t-shirts and I said you have a clothing rack here. It was a very small rack at the time. I said I've got some hangers and a box of clothes. I'm going to hang them here and let's see what happens. A week later all the shirts are gone and he said great idea you're on to something here and then I started thinking about those shirts that I had made for the band and I said Maybe I could sell my own band shirts here. And then I'm like, who would ever want those? But then I was like, somebody will. And then I, I reached out to other bands. And it was amazing the support that was given back to us from the community because the amazing music in this city, it, it's unreal. And we had awesome bands from around here, Walk Off the Earth, Killing Time Band, Golden Beaver, uh, Lo-Fi. And, and they just gave us their merch and we gave them a platform to sell their merchandise, not only the shirts, but the CDs as well. So, so Craig Belvo is the owner of The Odd Spot. And when I found out what Craig was doing, I thought he was actually taking stuff from my, um, my room as a teenager and putting them into a store because this is what my place looked like when I was a teenager. But he is actually passionate about finding unique items. He started his own auction place. And we talked to him about where he got all this incredible items and what fueled his passion to start a store like The Odd Spot. And eventually made enough revenue to say, see you later to the corporate job and then open the store. Okay, so now I understand you're the music part of this. So the records, the record collections here are mine. <laughs> how, how did you, how did you, how did, how did you get those? Like, how did you get into the music part of it? I was in San Francisco in 2011 in uh, Haight-Ashbury and I was in this record store called Amoeba Music and I was just blown away by the psychedelic posters and just everything about it. And I saw people walking out with armloads of records and I said to my ex at the time, I said, 
I'm getting back into records when I get back to Burlington. And I did. And I, I hunted around and I, w I was finding everything really cheap at the time. And I just built up my own collection. And, uh, you know, it started to, to boom a bit more. And, uh, yeah, we have a huge selection here. And I have a network that gets me records and I find records. And they find me too. So you have records.